live from Midway Airport with a story, Jewel. Hi, good evening, Jackie. Good evening, Taman. Right now, hundreds of Southwest passengers are moving at a snail's pace in the check-in line upstairs here at Midway. Now, the airline is reporting that an air traffic management program put in place because of the weather is the cause of the significant delays and cancellations across the country. However, some passengers that we spoke to have heard a rumor that some Southwest employees may have walked off the job. Southwest passenger Wendy Kaminsky is keeping it together after a long, frustrating day of delayed travel. When I got to the line, they could reschedule me on a flight tonight at, at 9, but that one was just canceled too. The flight cancellations are numerous, and the line of upset and confused passengers is growing too. We don't know why our flights were canceled. They have a lack of employees. And they have no managers nor supervisors telling us what's going on. In a written statement, Southwest Airlines states in part, we experienced a significant impact in the Florida airport yesterday evening after an FAA imposed air traffic management program was implemented due to weather and resulted in a large number of cancellations. We're working hard behind the scenes to minimize challenges and fully recover the operation as we take care of displaced crews and customers as quickly as possible. Night passengers say they're receiving little to no information from Southwest. There's only two employees. They only have two people checking you in for luggage and tickets. There's only two employees. It's rumored that the major backups are because many Southwest workers have walked off the job. We've also heard inside that that Southwest has had a walkout due to the COVID vaccine mandate. The airline is requiring all Southwest employees to be vaccinated against COVID. Employees have until December 8th to comply. Now, one passenger that we talked to, she said she was told that there won't be any Southwest flights leaving out of Midway today or tomorrow. Now, obviously, this is a developing story that we know impacts thousands of people across the country. So as updates come to us, we'll definitely bring them to you as quickly as possible. Reporting live from Midway, I'm Jewel Hillary, WGN News. Jewel, thank you for that report. Also.